Welcome to the CPSC product registry training video. This video will demonstrate how to manually enter a single product certificate. Please note that the CPSC product registry is in ongoing development. Features and functionality are subject to change. Business account administrators, collection administrators, and collection editors can manually enter products into a product collection using the manual entry process within the product registry user interface. Product certificate data is only considered complete and ready to file in a reference PGA message set after all mandatory certificate data has been entered and the data has been certified by a user with certifier permissions for the applicable product collection. Users may not enter certificate data for multiple similar products into a single certificate, but must create a separate unique certificate for each product. Users can save incomplete product certificates for themselves or a different user to complete later. CPSC considers apparel items from the same material with multiple styles, sizes, and colors to be one product if the items were manufactured and tested together. Navigate to the Product Collection section from the eFiling dashboard. Click the product collection that you would like to add a new product certificate to. In the top right corner, click the Add Products button. Within the product data entry window that appears, you will enter all applicable product certificate data elements in the fields displayed. Note that an asterisk designates a required field. In the Product Details section of the Product tab, enter the product name, trade, or brand name, product ID type, product ID, and any additional product ID and type information you wish to provide. You may also choose to click the plus additional identifiers button to add additional product identifiers to identify the product further. In the product description section, add the applicable product description information, including color, style, description, manufacturer name, manufacturer date, production start date, production end date, lot number, and who the lot number is assigned by. Click next to proceed to the testing tab. From the testing tab, enter the certificate type and last test date. In the laboratory section, enter applicable laboratory information, select whether the laboratory is CPSC accepted or other, the laboratory name, test URL, test report key, test report ID, and any applicable citation codes required for the product certificate. You can also add as many citation codes as needed. You can add an additional laboratory by clicking the Add a Laboratory button and filling in all applicable data fields as necessary. You can also add any applicable testing exclusion codes by clicking the Add a Testing Exclusion button. A pre-generated list has been created for users to choose from with the codes that display. Refer to the CPSC e-filing webpage for additional guidance on citation and testing exclusion codes. Click Next to go to the Certificate tab you'll need to create or generate a new unique version ID. Either type in your desired version ID or click the Generate Version button to opt for a system-generated version ID. The version ID helps the system reference the correct product certificate in the product registry. The version ID can be any series of numbers and or letters that your team can easily track and increment as you add and edit product certificates such as V1, V2, V3. This allows users to update product certificate information without having to re-enter all applicable product data. Next, select the Point of Contact for Test Result Records from the drop-down list. If Other is selected, you will be prompted to add the contact information of the individual if they had not been added already. Then, click either the Certify or Submit for Certification button based on whether you have permissions to certify. Note that by certifying, the user is attesting or certifying that the finished product covered by the certificate complies with the stated rules, bans, standards, and regulations, and that all data provided in the certificate is true and accurate to the best of their knowledge. Once the product certificate entry has been certified or submitted for certification, you will receive a message that notifies you that your product certificate has been saved successfully you'll now see the new product certificate entry added to your product collection. Note that once the product certificate has been created, the 48-hour editing grace period will begin for the newly certified entry, as noted by the clock icon that appears under the status column. 
you have 48 hours to edit the entry without having to create a new version. Refer to the videos titled Edit an Existing Product Certificate or Create New Version for Certified Product Certificates if edits are required before or after the editing grace period has ended. This concludes our demonstration of how to manually enter a single product certificate. If you have additional questions, visit cpsc.gov forward slash e-filing or email e-filing support at cpsc.gov for assistance.